Will God ever forgive me for this? I mean, I got this question almost every single week, especially early on in my career. Because every single week, a group of us would be led through a labyrinth of steel doors in order to find ourselves in a giant cell block with 30 to 40 men. To say this was unnerving is an understatement. <laughs> Just a joke. Stay calm. Yet without fail, week after week, after every gospel message, we would hear it. Will God forgive me? But here, come in close. Here's the real truth. We aren't too far from these men. We all have skeletons in our closets. So I know that many of you are asking the same question. Will God ever forgive me? So join me today and I'll show you which road leads to restoration on church door. It is absolutely bonkers what 30 seconds can do to absolutely set the internet on fire. For the second year in a row, the He Gets Us campaign ran a set of controversial ads. And this year, it caused quite a bit of buzz. Here is the ad they ran. Now let me start by saying there is a lot going on here. Not only do many people have a problem with the price they paid to run these ads, but many believe that the content is misleading. So let me encourage us to be a little more objective here. In fact, at the very minimum, what we do know is that it has caused conversation. I mean, heavens, there were over 123 million people watching this commercial when it aired. So it should be an easy conversation with one of your coworkers asking them, what did you think of the commercial? And that question can lead to other questions like this. What is sin? What is salvation? What is forgiveness? But at the core of this ad, the reason it's hitting so many nerves is because it's dealing with the brokenness of this world. What'd you do? And ultimately how Jesus addresses that brokenness. And whether you think the ad did a good job answering that question or not, the reality is, is these are real questions that real people like you and me deal with. I mean, would the God of the universe ever forgive a woman who had an abortion? A violent gang member or somebody who is part of the LGBTQIA community? Now, before we give ourselves a pass and go off on a self-righteous tirade, let me just say there is a lot of other sin that this ad did not touch that you are dealing with. Maybe even have hidden so well and you're praying two things simultaneously. Number one, I hope no one finds out about this sin. And number two, God, could you ever Forgive me for what I've done. So everyone seems to have an opinion on the He Gets Us campaign. We want to know yours. Go ahead and do us a favor down in the comments. Tell us what you think about this year's Super Bowl ad. That's why I'm calling today's message, Which Road Leads to Restoration? And the first road is this, the road designated for refuge. In Joshua chapter 20, we see Israel, who has built their cultural structure this way. Tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed through Moses, so that anyone who kills a person accidentally or unintentionally may flee there and find protection from the avenger of blood. When they flee to one of these cities, they are to stand at the entrance of the gate and state their case before the elders of the city. Then the elders are to admit the fugitive into their city and provide a place to live among them. In these verses, we see designated, intentional pathways to refuge for the one who has found himself in a bad situation. If the person who accidentally killed someone went to hide anywhere else, the truth is that eventually they would be hunted down and killed. I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. In other words, not all roads are created equal. There is a place to go when we need redemption. For Israel, creating an intentional path was important. So important that they placed these cities of refuge no more than a day's run from anywhere within the whole nation of Israel. 
Not only that, they made sure that the roads were wide, well kept, and also marked well, so that there was no guessing. If you needed refuge, this is where you would find it. Now, who was this refuge for? Was it for Israel alone? Because I think this is where many Christians fall short. We don't see God's grace at its full extent. Some might believe grace is reserved for the elect, a chosen group determined from the beginning of time. Chosen one! And Israel kind of being that OG remnant of the elect. So how did Israel see this redemption? Well, the scripture continues by saying this, any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who killed someone accidentally could flee to these designated cities and not be killed by the avenger of blood prior to standing trial before the assembly. In other words, the road to restoration is also where the stranger can find salvation. Salvation in the eyes of God and the eyes of Israel is for everyone. One of Israel's songs highlights this by saying, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. If you're watching this video today and you feel like you've been far from God, whatever the reason might be, you're thinking, God would never forgive me for what I've done. I need you to hear this. God has provided a place of refuge for anyone who might come. And that refuge is found in Jesus. Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. If you're here today and you want to find Jesus Christ as your safe refuge, whatever, wrong you might have done. We have a team of people here that want to walk with you. You can text us down in the comments or you can text prayer to the number that you see coming up on the screen. Help us promote great Christian content by pressing the subscribe button and the notification bell so that every single time we put out a piece of content, it comes directly to you. Or you can go the extra mile by going to rivervalleyrockford.org slash give and making a donation there. Every single cent goes right back into helping people just like you take their next step with Jesus. We pray blessings on you today that you might see the wide road that leads to refuge in Jesus. And in him alone, you might find redemption. We've been doing a study in Joshua, and if you'd like to keep up with us, go ahead and hit the button right in the center of your screen to continue in our study of Joshua.